So I'm taking a break from working on the front of the truck and I'm moving on to the interior where the battery and the fuel cell will be mounted. As you can see, I already got the battery in place. I just used some angle iron and uh, built this little like tray for it. Uh, I have to build a strap to go over it and stuff, but I have Mike's old fuel cell cage and I'm kind of just setting it in there to see how I like it. Uh, I'm doing a completely different one. so. But I have to build the structure that goes around it for the part on the or the upper part that has the flange where you can see it bolts down to. Then the lower part, then build brackets to connect the cage to the frame uh, on all four corners. And then I don't have to do these bars on the inside because it'll literally just sit down on these floor bars. Um, and then I'll have a, a big sheet of aluminum, aluminum as the floor. So. Uh, it'll all be, you know, safe underneath. But yeah, so I'm going to get to making the cage for my fuel cell. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and uh, let's get to building this. <laughs> So I got the first main pieces cut. As you can see, I left a little bit of a gap around it just for foam or something else to slide down in there so it doesn't vibrate a whole lot. But So now I'm gonna make double of all of those uh, so that I can have one that'll land about right here and then one that'll be about right here and connect them at all four corners and then I'll have a, you know, a good spot to build a bracket off of to land on the frame rail. So as you can see, I got the second ones all made up. They all line up really good. So I'm gonna clean these up and then start on the vertical ones. Got it all set up, ready to tack. I don't know if I'm gonna be the one to tack or not. I've been practicing. I've never actually tip welded, so I'm kind of skeptical about it. saw by no means am I a TIG welder. That was actually my first time ever doing it. So um, my tacks were good enough and I just mocked these up uh, on the fuel cell in the truck and saw that I need to um, uh, on each of the corners do a seven inch piece uh, to where the fuel cell will sit correctly and the bottoms of these will be perpendicular to the chassis and then I can make tabs off of that. So I'm going to get to cutting those pieces and then tacking those together.
So as you can see, I got the cage all made, got it setting in here, and it is perfect. Uh, this was right, even with this, just like I thought, with the other side sitting right on top of the two by two. So it's perfectly flat. Um, it's great, it looks great. I'm contemplating raising it up like, I guess an inch um, so that I can run water lines and oil lines from the radiator uh, underneath it. But I have to play around with that. So I hate to say it, but I have been slacking majorly on the love truck. And it's not all my fault. I mean, I have been traveling a lot and a lot of you don't know that I have to travel to make money. I shoot uh, a lot of video and photo for companies and that's how I get money to be able to build this truck. So besides all that, uh, you saw that I made the cage for the fuel cell, which is now on the driver's side, because on the passenger side, I will have to have uh, shift cables running up to the shifter. I'll have all my electronics in over there, but don't worry, I'll have plenty of room to get out. I'm gonna build a box that slants down in front of that so my feet can swing out, and it'll be easy to get uh, up and over the fuel cell. And then this side will have a big box that looks just like that one uh, that'll cover all the electronics and the battery. But right now, I need to mount the fuel cell and then probably start on building that box for the fuel cell to not, I don't know, have any way to get into the actual cab, like any of the fuel or fire, if that would, have, would happen. So I'm going to go make tabs for the... A cage to be able to bolt down into the chassis and then probably drill into the chassis tack the um, little well nuts in and then be all good then I can start figuring out how I'm gonna make the box that goes around it all all right so here's the fuel cell here are the little tabs the straight tabs I made they will get welded to the cage and then i'll put a little well nut into the chassis drill a hole a bolt down straight through there uh on this side and because the other side is an inch up because it's two by two instead of two by three i made these 90 degree little guys which will be welded like that uh to the cage and then the same thing do well nuts into the chassis Hold it straight through there. I need to trim this side, but yeah. Now you see how that is actually going to be mounted down. It'll be perfect. So I got the cage all mounted down and as you can see, if it's right, it's perfect. The video that you just watched has actually been filmed over the last like several weeks. I've just been here in the shop or out traveling and just trying to get stuff done, trying to get stuff ready for you know, 2022. I hope all of you have an amazing Christmas and I hope all of you have an amazing New Year's. But I'm glad I finally got this mounted and done because I can start on all the other things like the steering which as you can see I already have a wooden dowel kind of mocked out because it'll be hard to get from the you know rack around all the pedals and up to where the steering column will be in the middle but I'm super thankful to have people like Mike and Sean who helped me actually weld like finish weld the whole cage up because I wanted the cage to look nice and I wanted it to hold and not crack and look crappy, which I know that since I haven't, you know, done much trig welding, uh, it would have ended up like. So thank you to them. So if you want to go over to the Deuce Soul Designs YouTube, I'll have them in the link below. Also their Instagram is awesome and they just they do awesome work. It's a bunch of it's a bunch of talented people and I'm lucky enough to be able to work here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you don't mind you know liking and subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. I hope that I can start bringing you guys more videos. In the future uh, of building this truck, I will have some time here in January to be working on it. So 
Let me know what you guys want to see more of, and I will see you later.